what is going on guys so today's the day we're gonna finish up the rear end and get this car out of here I'm really excited to get this in drive it around we gotta do a hundred miles of braking but then it's good he said city driving mostly um, that way because these gears are gonna be spinning very fast with the 456 gear so I'm pretty much just gonna hop in this tighten everything up get the brakes on wheels on and roll out of here So just grab the keys. We're about to go take it for a ride. I want to show you what Nick's working on before we do that. So what are you doing here, Nick? On the Stance Mobile? Putting a mild steel K-member in so that we can get some more camber out of it. Yes, I know. UPR K-member going with camber. Going with camber. Super camber. Oh yeah. Looks good though. It's the same K-member Turzilla has, except Turzilla has chromoly. Yeah, this, this is, is mild, mild steel. steel. And he's got the double adjustable A-arms so. Double adjustable A-arms for hella stance. Because this thing's a stance mobile. Nice. Alright. I'm gonna take it for a ride. Okay. You want some coffee? Sure. Iced coffee? Yeah. Normal, whatever. Yeah, normal. Oh. It's definitely lower. of 
break-in, all city driving, no getting on it yet. Uh, overall, I don't notice too much difference from a 4-10 gear ratio to what it is now, um, just regular driving. Uh, I'm also just trying to make sure everything in the car is good. We're turning, doing some turning stuff. The suspension is still set in the softish mode for drag racing, so uh, we should be pretty good. We've got the new springs in the back. Everything really feels pretty much good. Hit the brakes. Just make sure everything's good. We're gonna go get some coffee. can say is I'm really happy to be driving this car right now it's been I think a month now since uh, the rear end blew up so I'm definitely really pumped anymore I think the clips on it broke rubber there it's a high mileage car 181,000 miles I hope this GoPro is working out well you guys let me know check it when I get back. I'm just going to go get some coffee for myself and Nick. Turdzilla is ready to go. I have the truck and trailer here. Um, that's the easiest way I figured to be able to drive it home with both the truck and the trailer. 
So we're gonna drive the car onto the trailer, bring it home, unload it at home, and we should be good to go. I have the truck and trailer here for a different reason because I was dropping off a car, which you guys will find more about that later. Um, I'm posting a video all in one kind of uh, for that other car. So anyways, let's get this thing loaded. All right, so Terradzilla loaded on the trailer, ready to go home. I'll unload it once I get there, that way I can drive it around, put some miles on this, get the rear end broken in. The builder of the rear end, or whatever you want to call him, uh, he said to get about 100 miles on it. I really like the way it's kind of sitting now. I don't know if it's going to be too low uh, for racing, hopefully not, but I'm really excited to be getting this car back home for sure. Let's go check on Nick, see what he's doing, and yeah. Looking at a house. Nick is finishing up on this. You guys are really gonna like this because I know there's some people asking about it. Five lugs swapped, gears, I think built rear end. Nick is putting on the finishing touches on this. Built, I think 302, Vortec blower, intake, heads. This thing's badass. They just did a full rebuild of the whole engine. So this thing's gonna be awesome. Nick also finished up with this thing. It's got hella camber. It's probably gonna get more camber. It's insane. It's not even lower down on the ground and you can see the camber. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I don't know, I think it's cool. I wish it didn't have as much camber, but you know, different things for different people. All right, looks like it's gonna rain pretty soon, but we're gonna hop in the truck, take Turdzilla home, unload her, and be driving her around putting some miles on that rear end and it's gonna be a good time all right we just made it home I'm gonna get this thing unloaded and yeah And there we have it. She is back home and back together. I'm so excited to see it together and being home. Now that's a good sight. Cobra and Turdzilla together. If only Ashley's car were here and if I could finally get rid of some stuff, clear out this bay, then we could have three Mustangs in here. I really want to put a lift in here. That's what I really want. That stuff's just trash. Uh, Cause I actually just picked up this AC unit, which I'll be showing you guys. I'm really excited about this because it's gonna be cool in here. So I'm gonna get that set up. Hopefully like a garage door seal or something like that. That'd be pretty cool to get the exhaust hooked up. All right guys, so I just realized I never closed out this video. So I'm gonna close out this video now. I'm so excited to have Turdzilla back. It took a little bit longer than I thought, you know, when initially blowing it up at the track. You know, sometimes it takes a while. I have to give a huge shout out to Don and John Gift for helping out with the parts. That was a huge, huge help. We got the rear end built by Volusia Drivetrain. Did a fantastic job so far, so good. I'm really excited. Those of you guys who don't know, it's a Yukon 31 spline diff, 456 gears, basically fully built, 31 spline axles. Um, so I'm really excited to get this thing out to the track. I gotta get it broken in. And yeah, um, a huge thanks to Nick too. Nick helped out big time and Ricky. Ricky welded in the adjustable spring perches uh, into the car. So the car now has Viking uh, custom spring ray in the rear, along with adjustable spring uh, ride height, which I'm so excited to get that on the car now. So I know it was a long process, but I am so excited to have this car done and I can move on to the next project, which you guys are gonna be seeing. There's a lot of cool stuff going on. I have a lot more time now that I'm out of school for the summer. So there's a lot of cool things going on. I mean, the stuff coming for the Cobra is gonna be insane. 
I got a fuel system on the way. I have a Metco four pound lower. Uh, the fuel system's coming from Lethal. Um, we got a Metco four pound lower for the Cobra, so gonna be adding some boosts. Uh, looking into doing some long tubes at the same time. We also have the Maximum Motorsports full rear end basically build up. Um, working on getting some G-Force axles for the Cobra at the same time. So we are working on basically turning the Cobra into a full-blown built car as well. So I'm super excited. I know it's kind of late. I've been working like crazy these past few days on cars and everything else. And I hope you guys are really enjoying the content. Make sure you drop a comment down below. I also have a lot of cool stuff coming. I have a, another batch of t-shirts coming um, of the original design. I'm going to be working on the other design. I have key tags coming, which are going to be super awesome. I'm super excited to get those things out to you guys. So. There's a lot of cool things coming. I got more decals. So I have been working like crazy. I have a big amount of videos. I have two longer videos, which are gonna be more like episodes uh, that will be coming soon as well. So I'm really excited. So stay tuned and hope you enjoy the video.